gangsters in Swindon. So it's the first round of the Oracle Super Tour. And we've got a last 32 match here between the reigning world champion, Gareth Potts, on the right. He's just won the lag. And he's playing Early Bale, the former European champion. And yes, you can read the score line right. Obviously being the European champion, not the world champion, means that Ali Bell gets a one start. Uh, the Oracle Tour is, of course, handicapped. And a very, very good break from Gareth Potts gets us underway. Best of 15 frames. Alternate break. Super Tour taking over from where the Gangsters Grand Prix left off. Keith Brewer developing the tour over the last seven years. And now has available £44,000 worth of prize money across the four events. And the winner of this tournament will actually pick up a cheque for £3,400. Nice little shot there, I'd be disappointed they didn't pop the red into the corner, but he's managed to develop the, uh, the difficult red on the cushion. He's managed to get it away from the rail a little bit, so we can come to that one later. Whereas Gareth Potts has quite a deliberate style, Ollie o Bale has a much more carefree attitude to his pull. And he's played a fantastic shot there. Cutting it into a blind pocket. spectators in the background are oh, Oli's girlfriend and two kids the entire weekend supporting him Hales from Bridgewater in Somerset circuit, plays on the IPA Pro Tour as well.
clean this one. Occurred since the misread to the left top corner from Gareth Potts, so Gareth has now managed to tie up both the corner pockets, which has led to this little bit of a stalemate in the spray. what his next move is going to be and it is the plant that he's played and he's played it in such a way that he's managed to leave the other red on as well so very well played there but he's decided under the circumstances with his red over the right tied up that it's best to just uh, control that left corner pocket frame to start this one off. I think a little bit unusual because both these players are quite attack minded. And it's just become one of those frames where the balls have become a little bit clustered, the pockets have been tied up. So players trying to try and make something. Only here has the two visits. It's the uh, deliberate foul from Gareth Potts has let him in. And that's a very, very high quality shot there. Managed to pocket the yellow and move the red away, so it's left the room for the other yellow as well. And you saw him queuing previously. Obviously fancy taking on this yellow somewhere here. I think it might be going around the back of the black into the right centre pocket. Although to play that shot I don't think he'd have fancied being right on the cushion. Bale. So this black ball down gives him a 2-0 lead. yellow there after the break. And he's got a very, very good split on the balls this time, all the balls in the open. And looking at the layout of the table, the yellows were probably the better of the two options, simply because the reds moved in such a way that they're quite spread out. So it's a difficult red that he's queuing over the top of now as well. And you want to make 
easy work for yourself as you can. He's been looking at these two yellows, I was just going to say, looking at those two yellows on the right hand side. He's managed to play that with a little bit delayed side. A little bit of a drag shot to try and get that cue ball in between the gap, and it's worked wonders. This now looks like a serious run out chance. And in the blink of an eye, would actually extend Early Bale's lead. once again. And that gives Oli Bale a 3-0 lead in this best of 15 frame match. And Gareth Potts has lost the cue ball. It's a foul, it's only one visit. Gareth did elect to play yellow. Knowing that he really needed to get his name on the scoreboard. Didn't want to go too much further behind. Obviously best of 15 frames, first to eight. yellows here and if you want to make this clear it's the first attempt got the yellow down the top left corner which is covered by the red and you've also got the yellow on the top rail as well so plays a deliberate foul so in doing so he's tied up that left corner pocket to move all the reds. He really needs to make an effort here to pop this red into the corner. He's not hitting hard enough. You see the little bit of frustration on his face there as he got up off the cue. So a massive chance now for Gareth Potts to pull a frame back. The yellows are all in a, a tidy looking position here.
tries to play the yellow to the top right corner. Cue ball's come off the side rail and pocketed the yellow over the left corner. The only saving grace there for Oli Bale is the fact that he's now snookered himself on the last yellow. now as if this frame will go the way of Gareth Potts. Shows a little bit of cue power there to bring that cue ball back just enough to play the black eight now into the right hand pocket. And we'll be back after this short break. <laughs> 